he was asked about uh, the Deshaun Watson trade. I know there's a report out there. You guys know that wasn't from me. I have nothing to add to that. He reminds everyone that he can't talk about a player from another team that's under contract. Quote, what our team doesn't need today is a distracted coach. End quote. Here to talk about all of this is our friend from Good Morning Football, and he also dabbles with Fox Sports as well. Our friend Peter Schrager is back here on the show. How are you, Peter? Hey, Rich. I'm doing great. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. What's the deal with the Deshaun Watson trade as you know it? As we're all sitting here right now uh, on this uh, this week seven Monday, what do you have for me? All on right, that? so Deshaun Deshaun Watson still has not been suspended. There still has not been put on the exempt list. I can assure you that the NFL's league office has been investigating this inside and out. And short of any uh, new whistleblower or anything new evidence wise, I don't think he's going to be suspended in the next eight days I'm not going to be put on the exemption list in the next eight days meaning technically if he was traded tomorrow he could play on sunday the question is is there a team that has the appetite to take on the unknown so miami has long been the rumored team not because of houston's desire to trade him there not because of miami sending out leaks uh to the media saying as much they've been the long rumored team because Apparently, Watson has a no-trade clause, and that is a destination that he would look fondly upon. Carolina was thrown into the mix yesterday, I believe. Mike Florio at NBC Sports was the first to put it out there. I think Jay Glazer mentioned it as well. And now we're going to follow suit and say we've heard rumors of that. But that goes all the way back before the 22 civil lawsuits that Carolina was in the mix. I just don't know if any team, any team at all, Rich, has the appetite to take this on knowing – what that comes with PR wise, what that comes with morally without this thing being a closed case and knowing that there could be some actual cases that work themselves out in courtrooms in the coming months. I don't know if he is a tradable player, even if the, the ask from Houston, which originally I could confirm was three first round picks and three additional assets has lessened as we inch closer to the trade deadline on Tuesday. Yes. Yeah, there's too much risk. There's way too much risk. I mean, for you to then buy the the uh, off season material, and that's now in your lap. I, I, I that's the thing that kind of surprises me uh, that there is so much there there and being discussed, you know. Um, but the Dolphins might be desperate. They're a one win team, and yeah. they might have already evaluated Tua over eleven games or whatever how many starts it is, and say this is definitely not the guy. Oops. You know, and they're they're trying to fix that. I, I maybe that's it. Maybe desperation will outweigh the risks, Peter. Yeah, and and they don't have a first round pick this year, so they're one of the worst teams in the league. But when they traded up from twelve to six, they gave the Eagles their first round pick. Um, that that right there is is making it even more interesting. That hey, if we can get Watson, we're not going to get one of the top picks in the draft. We might as well go and do this. I think. Another piece to this, and this comes from a team that does not need a quarterback. It comes from a GM that I really respect and bounce a lot of ideas off of. So do you make a Watson deal now with all this unknown looming in an offseason where Rodgers and Wilson could be had for maybe a similar amount of picks or maybe even less due to their age or whatever it is and, and maybe their desire for a destiny. Like Miami and Carolina and Denver – those are historically good markets with good fan bases and places you want to play. This isn't like going to some place where they don't win every 20 years. These are good teams and good organizations. If those are the three suitors for Watson, do those teams just hang on tight, get to the off season, and then make a real push for Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, or if you're Philadelphia, do you package all those picks together and do something in the draft, like whatever it is. Um, this might not be the ideal crop of off-season college quarterbacks, but if you're talking veteran quarterbacks that could be on the market, Watson might not even be in the top three come March. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.